Maybelline's Poreless Matte Foundation has been quite the rave lately. In my opinion, the consistency is comparable to NARS Sheer Matte. Plus, it's buildable just like that. This was actually my first time using it and I fell in love. I'm a player when it comes to foundations. You know what I mean? <laughs> Then of course, with this dark spot corrector and concealer all in one, I'm gonna take that under my eyes and all my dark spots. Usually it's on my cheeks where I have acne scars. Blend it out whichever way works for you. Whoa, I know, I know. It's quite the cover up. Okay, now for brows, it's my least favorite part, but fill them in and make them look less shabby. <laughs> Contour Le Nose With this duo compact that you guys see me use all the time, it's so convenient. Take the darker shade and place it on your eyelids all across. With a blending brush, take the lighter Graham Cracker Brown and start buffing that right where the two colors can marinate each other. Yes, marinate. Then start dragging the ends with whatever that's left outward so a V-shaped tail starts forming. Take a thinner brush to add a bit more of that dirt brown color following that V-tail. And gently blend it inward, keeping it so it's still in that outer thirds. Now add it inside your inner corners, leaving the middle clear. Use a clean brush to blend harsh lines out and away. Use the previous eyeshadow right below and somewhat connect it to the upper tail work. Blend, 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 then of course bring that to your inner corners, leaving the middle out again. Eyeliner time. Tightline as your first step. Then create a thicker end and use a pencil brush to drag that out. You must drag it downward since she had more of a dolly eye shape. Then fling it up a teeny bit. Line your bottom waterline. And use any shimmer of choice to highlight that clean middle area we left. Mascara up, and of course you can curl your lashes, but mine's don't stick down, so it's okay. Highlight your eyebrows to give glow, and now contour. Cheekbones are a must, so start sculpting your hollows, and bring it out with highlighting the top of your cheeks and down your nose bridge. Never make you cry. So for lips, in the promo photos, her lips are orange, but in the behind the scenes, they look more reddish. But it's totally up to you. I like the darker look, so I'm just gonna go with this color. Then I'm taking concealer to make my lips look more gradient, and voila, you are done. Thanks for watching. For more makeup tutorials, please sub at Hey It's Faye. Don't forget to buy your tickets to the Drama Fever Awards February 5th on their website. And guess who's coming? Oh my god. Okay, anyways, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Bye.